Okay, guys. Right. So now that we have uh, established uh, calc as a function, a virtual function. All right. So now let's move on to main, where if I run this program, there's no problem and everything is as fine as it is. Okay. But sometimes, okay, uh, as you can see now, right? Okay. I am, uh, I am, I am creating the objects very differently from the child. Okay. But sometimes I need them to be to be in the same array, in the same array of uh, of uh, objects, right? Okay. And I would like to create like uh, an object from the parent class, okay? And the instantiation of what type of um, polygon they are. And in that case, so that I can basically use it in very different forms. Okay. So what I'm going to do is here. Okay. I'm going to leave all these codes here, but I'm going to like, you know, delete it later so that you can see the difference in, in, in some way. So now, uh, for now, you can see that I can, I, I'm creating objects, uh, respectively from their, from the child classes. Okay. Rectangle and triangle, their child classes. Okay. But, there are times that I want to create objects from the uh, parent class. Okay, in the parent class. Oh yeah, one more thing before we do that. Okay, uh, I would also like to show you that uh, you know that we have mentioned earlier that the uh, constructors do not inherit automatically, but you can you can uh, inherit them manually. So how do I do that? Okay, I'm going to do it here. So I have a function called display and above display here I'm going to create uh, the constructor okay for class polygon so same thing okay I'm going to copy the same thing here right we'll copy the same thing and oops sorry I think okay here polygon right okay and I'll do the same thing it's 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 W and uh, whatever it is that is there same thing you can see that okay so now I have a constructor for the parent but it does not there's no relation in between this constructor and this constructor because both of them will be executed uh, differently uh, sequentially one after another okay so how do I inherit the constructor it's very simple so now rectangle I have the constructor of rectangle and I want my constructor of rectangle to send these two values to these two values so that it can be stored in W and H so how I do that okay I'll just put a column just like how you uh, inherit okay right in uh, such a way where you can actually i mean uh, inherit them okay so here i'm going to inherit my constructor with polygon and i'll be sending wi and he right and therefore i do not need this anymore i will not store it and my constructor for rectangle will be as simple as that okay here right so constructor of rectangle will inherit the constructor of the parent class, which is polygon, where I'll send wi and he to wi and he here, and it will then be stored in w and h. All right. Uh, I shall change the name here so that you can see in a more different site. Okay. And height okay so rectangle it's the same thing I can do the same thing for rectangle right uh, for triangle right so I'm going to copy rect rectangle here I'm going to delete the constructor of triangle and paste it here and just change the name to triangle so now both uh, constructor for class rectangle and constructor for class triangle inherit the uh, constructor of polygon where uh, upon creation I'll get the width and height and then I'll send the width and height to the constructor of polygon which is W and H E and from here 
wi will be stored in w he will be stored into h and this is how we do inheriting the constructor okay same as here can you see that right so in this case okay even if i run the program now okay um let's see if we have any problem no problem okay so it's right so now i'm going to create uh an object from polygon okay so let's say i have pol polygon right and i have uh s1 right that's uh, right p1 let's say p1 and i'll be sending the same value 3.2 and 8.5 right and i'm going to disable this and now i'm going to run this program and it will be interesting for you to see what happened do you see the error there polygon p1 okay and due to calculate okay here which has two different variation where the calculate for rectangle is different from the calculate of triangle and therefore when you use polygon and you call calculate it's not going to work even though there's a virtual function it's not going to work because uh there is there is no indication of which version of calculate should be uh, chosen and it has very much to do with which class it comes from so this is where we have what we call instantiation of the object and how we do it so now let's do this okay i'll show you how we do it first because it is a parent class therefore we have to use a pointer because we're not sure whether the object is going to be rectangle or it will be triangle and if you have a pointer p1 polygon p1 we will point to rectangle if it is a rectangle and if it is a triangle then we point it to triangle okay so what we do now okay we will have p1 equals to new remember we have spoken about this okay dynamic memory allocation with pointer okay new if i want it to be rectangle then rectangle and i'll send the value 3.2 and two uh, sorry and 8.5 if i want it to be a rectangle right okay and then after that i'll use p1 since it is a pointer i'll use the arrow okay and i'll call display right and now i'm going to run this program and let's see what happened so p1 now is a rectangle then if i do this i'm going to copy the whole line and i'm going to change this to triangle right and let's run this program now you can see it's 27.2 and 13.6 now you see that p1 at line number six it is pointing to a new rectangle object okay and in nine i will point to triangle object but in this case okay you should know that once uh, p1 has been pointing to the new rectangle project and uh, object and then when it, it points to triangle object okay it will release the memory allocation for rectangle okay and from here on it will keep pointing to a triangle object rather than a rectangle object okay and next we would like to know how how to retain the values to retain the values of both objects and in the next video we'll see that okay stay tuned